why are you still having thyroid symptoms even though you're taking the thyroid medication? Shouldn't the thyroid medication take your symptoms away? Isn't that the whole point? A lot of you are saying yes, that's why you're taking the medication. I want to explain to you right now one of the main reasons why this is happening. And one of the main reasons why if you're depending on just your thyroid medication to get your life back, to have your symptoms go away, that it will probably never happen if it hasn't happened already. And this is one of the main things that we see. Now there's a lot of factors that go into it, but this is a big one. I'm Dr. Darren Scott. I've been helping people for over 20 years get their life back from thyroid cases, Hashimoto's, autoimmune cases, GI problems. So let's get into it. Okay, let's explain this as simple as we can. Now your thyroid is a factory and its only purpose is to make thyroid hormone, which is T4 and T3. T4 accounts for 93% of all of the hormone that comes out of your thyroid and it happens to be an inactive hormone. It won't turn on any cells yet. And then there's T3, which is the active form. It's ready to go. It will turn on your cells. But you see the problem here, the imbalance. The majority of the hormone that's made by your thyroid has to be activated somewhere. And we're gonna talk about that. But your thyroid is being regulated by the pituitary gland, which is, think of the pituitary as like the general managers running the day and day activities. And then you got the big boss, the hypothalamus, that's telling your pituitary what to do. So here's what happens. Your pituitary tells your thyroid what to do by releasing this hormone, TSH, and it tells the thyroid to make this stuff, all right? That's how it works. Now, when you take thyroid medication, it's just as if T4 came out of your thyroid because Synthroid and level thyroxin are synthetic T4s. They're not active either. I don't know if you knew that, but your body has to activate these things. So let me show you what happens. So what will happen is T3 will jump on this truck. It's called a thyroid binding globulin truck or TBG. And this is the vehicle that's carrying around all your thyroid hormone. So it jumps on the truck, goes to the cell, and then it turns the cell on. But the T4 has to go through a different step. It has to be activated first. Kind of like you get your cell phone, you've got to activate it for you to do anything with it. So T4 gets a ride on the truck, runs over here, and it gets delivered to the gut and to the liver. And if these guys are healthy, then they will convert that four into the active T4 hormone that eventually can get to the cell and turn it on. And this is why, like if you take thyroid hormone, it does the same thing, it has to go through this process. If this isn't working right, this is why you have symptoms.